Welcome to the joint. Mm. <sighs> Coffee, much needed today. I was up way too late last night, so truth be told, been some fairly major purchases in the Justin's Joint household uh, fairly recently. Some were necessary, others probably not so necessary, but you know, it's the way that it goes. So the first thing is the riding lawnmower broke down on me for the last time. It was fixable, but I just am tired of fixing it and I was ready for something new. So new riding lawnmower, yay. That, that one was necessary. That was kind of pricey, but the other thing is Mrs. Justin's joint decided she needed to have a, a bigger car. So we bought a new car. So, with all that being said, I'll, I'll, I'll show all that stuff to you later. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm not gonna like do any kind of a lawnmower review or anything like that. I'm just gonna show it to you. I mean, cause it's cool. It's so much better than my old one. The, uh, the old one was my wife's grandpa's and we took it when he died. And um, you know, it was probably about ready for the junkyard then, but you know, I invested probably three to 400 bucks in new tires, new bearings, new deck spindles, new a whole bunch of stuff. And it lasted me for probably about five, maybe six years. I think it's been about five or six years. And, you know, it's it was very well suited for what I needed to do, but now that I've got the new one, I can uh, mow a lot quieter. That's the biggest takeaway from this, is that the old mower was just really loud. Just terrible. Anyway. So today, it is Sunday morning, and I'm sitting here at my computer trying to get some stuff going. Hopefully I don't have to babysit it. I just, you know, start it and for, ooh, excuse me, forget about it. And I can go enjoy the nice autumn morning. It is October. I don't know if it's autumn yet. I think it is. Don't quote me on that, though. I'm not too up on the seasons. I just know when it starts to cool off. That's autumn to me. <laughs> allergies. So I'm going to enjoy the autumn morning. I, I was looking through my my cabinet to try to figure out exactly what I had that I had had the longest. Now the blends that I took to New York City, the Davidoff Flake Medallions, those are gone. The Crooner, that's gone. The Cross-Eyed Cricket, that's gone. And I just finished off the Celtic Talisman yesterday, that's gone. So now I'm like looking around thinking, what should I have this morning? It's a nice, cool autumn morning. What have I got in the cabinet that's been there for a really long time? And I think it was only fitting to do Cornell and Deal autumn evening. I mean, this is one of those, this is one of those pipe tobaccos that you really have to be in the mood for because it's very, how should I say it? It's it's got like one one thing. It's a one trick pony. You know, it's not very I've not ever found this to be a super complicated blend. You get basically the same thing from the beginning to the end. You know, it's it's got some sort of really heavy topping or something like that. It's Red Virginia Cavendish lightly cased with maple. So like it it's it's cased with maple. You know, and uh, this autumn evening, actually, this might be pretty good. When you first open these autumn evening pipe tobacco tins, you smell pancakes. Like, you smell pancakes, big time. This one here, 
I'm not getting near as much of that, so I'm wondering if some of that has kind of mellowed out a little bit. Because, you know, the other thing that I... Uh, I do like this. But usually I don't smoke very much of it at one time because it just tends to... How do I put this? It doesn't tend to, like start getting all tongue bitey it just tends to I don't know it just gets to where it feels like hot air and no flavor after you smoke it for a while and I, I, I can't explain that because like you know I know I know it's not just hot air and you know empty smoke coming into my into my nasal passages and all that stuff I, I know that it's not because you know the first pipe that I light up is fine but it just tends to lose I lose interest real fast. However, that being said, that's the reason I still have it. I, I've had this probably for a couple of years, and I really only smoke it a handful of times a year when I'm in the mood. And, um, you know, right now I feel like I'm in the mood, so we're going to pack up the, what the heck is this pipe? The Calabresi Bulldog here, and we're going to go outside. And I'm gonna brew myself another cup of coffee. Hmm. We're gonna enjoy this fine Sunday morning. I should be at church, but I've been so busy late, wait, lately that uh, I decided I'm playing hooky today. I'm just gonna take a weekend for myself. Um, there's actually nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I, I think that Jesus would be cheering me on, saying, yes, you have been working too much and spending too much time helping out everybody else. You need to take at least a couple of days for your own sanity. So, you know, that's, that's what's happening today. I think I've rambled on too long now. Let's pack up a pipe. Let's get out of here. Let's go outside and smoke. Let's have a bowl. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I decided to at least light it up in here. Don't tell the wife. Mrs. Justin's joint would not be pleased. I'm not gonna smoke it in here. I'm just gonna light it in here because it's a little breezy and I wanna use my little book of matches that I picked up when I was eating lunch at Steuben's downtown Denver. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, I like using match matches. I like using matchbooks I like using Vix I like using my Zippo seems like lately lately I've been traveling so much you can't take a Zippo on a plane so I've just been having to use Bix a lot lately and um, thing about Bix, once you have them, you might as well just use them. And so, you know, I get to New York, I buy a couple of Bic lighters, and they just wind up coming home with me. So that's what I use. But I found these, this book of matches in my bag from going to lunch with a couple of people a couple of weeks back. So I figured I'd try to use, use matches for a little while. <clears throat> However, you can't really use matches outside, especially if there's any kind of a breeze. And there is a slight breeze outside right now, so we're just not going to go there. Come on. Come on, Bessie. There we go. Mmm.
You know, maybe the reason that I only smoke this every once in a while is because I misunderstood it. This tobacco, I always, you know, the smell makes me think of, you know, sweet things like syrup and pancakes, butter, you know, good stuff. And now as I really think about it, now that I said that on camera, and I smoke it, I have um, maybe a little bit of a different opinion now as I talk and just blow ashes all out the top. I'm just gonna blow ash everywhere. <laughs> ashes everywhere, yeah. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go get the jar. And, uh, and, oh, and my cup of coffee. I abandoned a cup of coffee in the house. That's, that's a crime punishable by death via a wet noodle. <laughs> that would be kind of agonizing. I better go get it. Watch stuff and things plays, you'll know that line. Anyway, so this is a proprietary Red Virginia Cavendish blended with maple flavor. So you know I've been I've been trying to it's kind of a while, like a while back when I, I had I had a bowl of crooner and it, it struck me as very spicy and I wasn't expecting that. So I, I really didn't enjoy enjoy that particular bowl, but then you know I got to thinking about it later, looking at the particular you know about the tobaccos in the mix, and it started to kind of make sense. So you know for me reading this, it's Red Virginia, so it's a Virginia blend, and you know Virginians tend to sometimes be a little bit bitey, which I have noticed about this blend, and I think that that's maybe why I don't smoke it very much, but. I think that, you know, keeping that in mind, you know, you can change your smoking cadence to where, you know, you're not, not horking it down as much as just sipping it. You know, you treat it like a Virginia blend should be treated. You smoke it too fast, it'll get hot and it will burn the crap out of you. Alright, hopefully that's better. I just realized that the light out here is very terrible. It's early morning and I'm on the west side of the house. Not very much ambient light hanging around. Not, in, not much direct light either. Anyway, so, you know, now that I'm going back and thinking about this, I might be able to smoke a little bit more of this, keeping that in mind. That's something that helped me with crooner. You know, when it wasn't what I expected or what I thought it was, uh, I didn't enjoy it. It's kind of like pouring a glass full of nice orange liquid in the morning and taking a big swig thinking it's going to be orange juice and then figuring out mid-swig that it's grapefruit juice. You know, it's not like it's bad, it's just not at all what you expected. Or like, you know, slathering what appears to be butter on a piece of bread nice and thick and then only to take a bite and realize that it's the hottest horseradish you've ever had in your life. True story, that actually happened to me. So I think with that in mind, that's going to help me with this blend. It's going to help me with this blend a lot because, you know, while it is it is very warm and inviting smelling in the tin. The, the smoking experience 
is somewhat different from that. You know, it's more of a Virginia blend. And you don't really get a lot of the... You don't get a lot of the maple. I mean, you get a little. It does... It does come through. But... Not a whole lot, so you know. I think I've gone on about this enough now. It's uh, I'm actually, you know, now that I've actually had to stop and think about it and actually smoke it and take a little bit more time teasing out what really this tobacco is. I think that this is actually going to help me smoke this, and actually, I think this is going to help me to smoke it a little bit more often. Because it's not a bad blend. It's just never what I was expecting. But it's all about changing your expectations, making your expectations match with reality. You know, that's like saying, well... I'm going to buy a shovel, but I want it to be a rake. And I'm very disappointed every time I try to go use the shovel as a rake because it's a terrible rake. Well, <clears throat> I kind of, now that I'm thinking about it, that's kind of a similar situation to how I've been with this particular blend. So, yep, now I've officially talked too long. All right, here we are. This is a Cub Cadet XT1 LT 42 inch LED headlights. 18 horsepower Kohler engine. Hydrostatic transmission. Deck height settings in increments of a quarter of an inch. And of course, a beverage holder where you can keep like an ice cold beer or pop. Very comfortable seat. Nice looking hood. couple of goofy dogs. I don't know where the other goofy dog went. What's up, dog? Hmm? Hmm? Alright, folks. So there's the new lawnmower. It's pretty sweet. It's very sweet. Level out this camera a little bit here. Show you the new car, except the wife drove it to work, so. <sighs> mm. It is a really nice day. Nice cool breeze. It's like in the mid 50s right now, which is amazing. Mid 50s, relatively low humidity, slight breeze. There's that chill in the air that you get only this time of year. You know, it could be, let's say it's like in the upper 70s, but there's still that something about it, there's a chill in the air. It lets you know it's fall. 
I mean, you know it's fall when, when your mums start to bloom, and my mums have definitely started to bloom. All right. Well, I tell you what, this bowl is almost finished. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up right now. Fairly boring run of the mill video, but you know, I want to put some more content up on a more regular basis. And if that means I have to just put up random dumb crap like this. <laughs> hey, so be it, right? It's all good. It's all good. It don't matter. So until next time, right here in Justin's joint. Well, actually not in Justin's joint. I'm, I'm not on the patio. Next time on Justin's patio. I'll see you guys later. Thank you.